Investigators have pinpointed the area where Monday's high gas pressure problem started leading to fires in Fairport Harbor. This large tan box is called a district regulator station. It's on High Street in Fairport, and it will be taken out of service for the foreseeable future. Dominion East Ohio is looking into why the regulator failed to control gas pressure properly. Meanwhile, 911 dispatchers were overrun with emergency calls when the fires and explosions ripped through Fairport Harbor Monday morning. 911, state your emergency. Yes, I have a fire at my house. It's down by my furnace. My smoke alarm's going off. Okay, I need you to get everybody out of the house. Gary, get out of the house. Okay, get everybody I'm out, out of the house. house. I'm not out, but i got to get my neighbors out of the house. 23 homes were damaged or destroyed, but that number is expected to grow as more homes are found to be damaged. As News Channel 5's Paul Kiska reports, some residents going back home after the evacuation say the experience was life-changing. My heart was so sad. Joan Kowalczyk, her six-year-old son, and two cats are going back home today after fire and explosions destroyed homes of friends and neighbors. Joan always thought she was ready for an emergency. Yeah, I already had a package ready um, in case something happened with the nuclear plant, so that's always there. And it has toothbrushes and all that that you need. But So I just grabbed that and threw a couple things in there and left. And then I'm like, oh, i got to get the cats. We might be gone for long. In the middle of the evacuation, her son Evan made a powerful suggestion. It was this guy right back here, my son, who um, were leaving, and he's like, Mom, can we pray for those firemen? Can we pray for those people? Can we pray for that as you see you see the houses that are put out? Joan said the frightening, sudden chaos of Monday morning was life-changing. Change in a second. All it takes is one, one text message saying, are you evacuated? With her life crammed into the family car for the day, she scribbled out a poem about life. Life's different now, I get it more, to live and cherish seconds because they may be all we have. It makes my heartstrings beckon. In Fairport Harbor, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5. And the State Fire Marshal and Public Utilities Commission of Ohio are also assisting in the investigation. You can hear more of the 911 tapes released today on our website, newsnet5.com.